parts of plants the flowers what are flowers for they make the plant look pretty but they have a job to do too the flower is a part of the plant that helps in reproduction it starts from a bud and slowly turns into a fruit the fruit contains seeds and from the seeds we get new plants so the flower is a part of the plant that helps in reproduction you must have seen seeds in the fruits that you eat the flower is the most attractive part of the plant flowers come in many shapes sizes and colors the brightest petals of the flower attract insects the sweet smell and nectar attract them too flowers have pollen on them to make fruits the pollen has to be taken from one part of the flower to another the insects help to carry pollens from one flower to another the pollen sticks to them and travels to other flowers with them once that is done the flower can start turning into a fruit so flowers are very important let us now study the different parts of the flower the first thing that we notice about a flower are the petals different kinds of flowers have petals of different sizes shapes and colors all the petals of a flower together have a special name they are called corolla petals are arranged in a circle which is called a whorl if you look at the flower from below you will see some green leaf like things at the base of the flower these small leaf like green things are called sepals all the sepals together are called the calyx so you know about the sepals and the petals all the sepals is equal to calyx all the petals is equal to corolla when the flower is a bud all the parts of the flower are inside the calyx inside the flower we see a number of thin long tubes with yellow pollen at the tips these thin tubes with pollen are called stamens the stamens are arranged in a circle all the stamens together are called the androecium the stamens are the male part of the flower can you spot the stamens here the stamen has a tube called the filament the tip that contains pollen is called the anther look at the stamens in this flower one tube is different from the rest this tube is not a stamen this is a pistil it is the female part of the flower the top of the pistil is sticky it collects pollen the pollen falls down the pistil into the ovary then the fruit is formed what is the pistil actually like a pistil has many parts it has a sticky stigma a long tube which is the style and at the base it has an ovary the tip is called the stigma the tube is called the style at the base the ovary contains ovules 
the ovary becomes the fruit and the ovules become the seeds this is the female part of the flower and it is called gynoecium can you spot the pistil and stamens at the base of the flower is the thalamus all the parts of the flower are attached here what did we just learn flowers help the plant with reproduction flowers turn into fruits and fruits have seeds that bear new plants a flower has colorful petals when the flower is a bud all its petals are wrapped inside the sepals all the petals together are called the corolla all the sepals together are called the calyx stamens are the male part of the flower all the stamens together are called androecium stamens have pollen at the tip which is called the anther stamens have a long tube which is called the filament pistils are the female part of the flower the female part of the flower is called the gynoecium pistils have a sticky tip which is called the stigma a long tube called the style and an ovary and ovules at the base the pollen falls through the stigma and style to the ovary the ovary turns into a fruit and ovules become seeds